available, and the kitten blog is already there for you to be able to post that. Wow. So I just need to interject. Sure. A, wow. Back over to you, Casey. So let's just say you know I love kittens for some. Uh, I guess I you know we'll go we'll just go with it, right? So I can you can you write I like pink kittens or I love pink kittens? I just think that would be better. Why don't I write Dave Wood likes pink kittens? I do love pink kittens. The secret tale. I know. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to say that it's going to go to my public blog, but now I actually get to select which blog it's going to publish to. So if I go and I select the blog, you can see the three different blogs that I'm managing from this one account. So I'm going to put this one out on the kitten blog. Let's go ahead and select a category. This is the first post actually out there. So let's just say um, Dave Kitten as now, a category. Now, can you make that Dave Wood Kitten instead of Dave Sharp Kitten? Because I want to show uh, uh, We'll it. make sure that that's, uh, that, there we go. Thank this you. is a Dave Wood <laughs> Kitten category. Appreciate that. All right. And so it's already filled out our SEO options like we have with the other posts we've made. Can I just hold on before? Yeah, because sure. You're about to obviously publish that. Yeah, well, I'm one I more click. Yeah, one more click. I I'm about to ask a question, but you're already ready to publish. Obviously, a lot of for a lot of people out there that want to get their content ranked in the search engines, because obviously we know that if your content's ranked on the first page, then you're going to get more eyeballs, more exposure, and if you understand how to convert that traffic into leads mm -hmm. and sales, obviously more money in your bank account. I'm seeing three things, and it's already given us suggestions of what we should use here in our SEO. Is that really what I think it is? Yeah, it really is. We're, what we're using is the content that you're putting in for the blog post. Because we're analyzing it, we're looking at kind of what's there. To go ahead and make sure that your, your uh, different meta tags, your descriptions, your keywords, and some keyword suggestions are there. And, you know, it's, we make suggestions based on what we're seeing in your content. But if you, you know, want to go back and be able to edit and, or add more and keyword tag it more, you know, the, that ability is there as well. So I don't have to think about it. Essentially, the platform does yep. the thinking for me. Yeah, the platform absolutely does the thinking for you. You know, I wanted to actually point something out here just because I think this is a hilarious story. We had, we had owned the company that we run here for, I think, three or four months. And I logged in and I saw, like, all of our blog posts. I had my blog post, I had Dave Sharp's blog post. And I essentially made all my money blogging. Dave had done it through direct response. Well, Dave had, like, 30 blog posts back there. And they didn't have any, like, keywords in them uh, or meta tags or, like, descriptions or anything. They had none of that stuff. And so I called Dave up and I was like, Dave, why aren't you putting like tags in your blog post? And he says, what the hell's a tag? You know, and that's funny for somebody that is a co-owner of a blogging platform. The reality is, is that most people uh, who are out there who get started on the online don't know what that stuff is. Yep. And just the ability to have them in there, but allow the freedom and the flexibility for somebody who's really good at SEO to be able to alter it how they choose. It's a big deal because it's, again, something that you can just get started. You can choose to just make a decision. Your website's instantly set up. We just set up a kitten blog in like three seconds, and then we made our first post and already had the keywords there without you even having to know what they are. And is that something?